Hi class, now that we've been introduced to what set and interval notation is, we're now going to apply it to our graphs that we talked about yesterday that we did with piecewise functions. So this 2, 3, 4, and 5, um, we did this in our own, hand, in our own handwriting yesterday. I, I drew these in to make it look a little bit nicer and stuff like that. But we have all these written in our notes from yesterday. So please take that out, and we're now going to be doing domain and range with that. So domain class, if you remember from our first lesson, is the x values. So x values go from left to right. Our x axis, right, goes from left to right. So we're going to be talking about what our x consists of when we talk about domain. With range, what we talk about is we talk about the y axis. So from the bottom to the top, what do our y values consist of? So it's helpful to have a horizontal and a vertical line as we do this. You guys might want to use your pencil just to go back and forth with me to kind of talk about what happens here. It's very useful to have this, especially starting off getting introduced to domain and range. So I'm a little bit weird. I always like to start off with interval notation. So you'll probably see me, say, see me do interval notation first. That's with like the parentheses and the brackets and stuff like that. It just helps me see it better for some reason. So I like to start off with interval notation. So interval notation for domain goes left to right. So you start at the left and you go to the right. So I ask you this question. Our x values, which is our domain, how far to the left do they go? Or wh where do they start at the left? Well, our x's are going from a negative 1 to a negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, right? They keep on going further to the left, to the left, to the left. I see that it's also going down class, but we don't focus on down and up with, with domain. We just focus on left and right. So how far left does this line go? How far left does it go? And hopefully your answer is, it goes infinitely to the left. It never, ever, ever stops. Okay? So it's going to start at negative infinity. So if it starts at negative infinity, we put a bracket there. So if it starts at negative infinity, now how far to the right does it go? It stops right here, doesn't it? Right at zero. So usually we would put zero there, but now listen very closely to this. Our piecewise function, even though this is two different lines, it's one function. So even though I don't have an x value at 0 right here, don't I have an x value at 0 right here? That's a closed-in circle, is it not? So that means I do have an x value right here. So watch my green line. I have a negative 5x value, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0 right up here. So it kind of jumps. And then I have an x value of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you see how it makes the jump going from my x values of negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0 as it jumps up to the next one. And then it continues to go for the right. So how far does this red line go to the right? Again, we're not talking about up and down. We're just talking left and right. It goes infinitely to the right, doesn't it? It never, ever stops. So my domain for my x's start at negative infinity, and they go all the way poof, to positive infinity. It makes this jump right here, going poof, and then it keeps on going. So if it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity, that's how we write it. Negative infinity to positive infinity. It does not, th there's no x value that doesn't exist with this function. Okay? So if we know that it's negative infinity, sorry, now we'll talk about the range. So with the range, we talk about bottom to top. Right? So our, our y values go up and down. And so just like we always go from left to right with our domain, our range, we always go bottom to top. So now we don't care about left and right. All we care about is up and down. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you the question, how low does this line go? I know it goes to the left, but that's not my concern with range. I'm asking you, how low does this line go? Well, as you figured out from other examples, there is no depth that it reaches. It goes down forever and ever and ever and never stops. So as far as how far down does it go, it goes to negative 5, negative 6, negative 100, negative 1,000, negative a million. It keeps on going down and down and down and down. It never, ever stops. So it starts at negative infinity. Not from the left. It starts at negative infinity from the bottom. We're now talking range, which is bottom to top. 
So now we're going to say, all right, if it starts at negative infinity, now how high does it go? Well, here's negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, bam! It stops right at 0, doesn't it? So it stops at 0, and this is an open circle right here. So if it stops at 0, it goes from negative infinity to 0, and if I have an open circle there, it means it doesn't include 0. If it doesn't include it, I use the parentheses. So now I ask you this question, are those my only y values? Are my y values only the ones that are less than 0? No, I have a y value right here, don't I? Such as this point right here is 1, 2. I have a y value of 2. Here is 2, 2. I have a y value of, once again, 2. This point right here is 5, 2. So once again, I have a y value of 2. So if I have more y values where I need to pick up my pencil, I have a union. Listen very closely. Negative infinity up to 0, bam, union, because I'm going to pick up my pencil, and bam, it starts right again right there. Now it starts at 2. I ask you this question, how high does it go? Well, it doesn't go up to 3, does it? Oopsie. It doesn't go up to 3. It stays at 2. So as far as up and down goes, it stays at 2. This is where it's tricky. It equals 2. It's not like it's less than or greater than 2. It equals 2. So if it equals 2, I'm going to have a bracket on the left and a bracket on the right because that's the only, only number that there is. Woof All right. Now let's talk about set notation. This is where we have x such that x. So that's kind of where I always start x such that x, when it's negative infinity to positive infinity for my interval notation, it's going to be x such that x belongs all the real numbers from our previous video. Whenever it's negative infinity to positive infinity, it's always going to be all real numbers. Our range, going from bottom to top, our range goes from negative infinity to 0, so that means y such that y, with domain it's x such that x, with range it's y such that y, it's everything that is below 0. So here's our 0. It's everything less than that. So if it's less than 0, I put less than 0. Once again, this is an open circle right here. It's starting to look close because of how much work I've done with it. But it is open. Let's get this green line out of there. It's an open circle, so it's less than right here and not less than or equal to. Now those are my only y values, so with um, set notation I say or y equals it's all the numbers that are less than 0, right? Or it is this number 2. Those are all of my y values. So there's our first one on domain and range. It's going to get easier, class. If you're discouraged right now, it is a tough concept. It's going to get easier. Let's try number 3, OK? So I always start with interval notation, domain first, and then range. So from left to right, OK? Where does this red line, how far does it go to the left? And hopefully you see that it is negative infinity. Navity always has a parenthesis. So now I'm saying, how far to the right does it go? It goes until right there, right? So if it stops right there, what x value is that? If we think about what point is this, the point right here is left 1 up 3. So what y, or sorry, what x value is that? Because we're talking domain. The x value is a negative 1. So we are going to negative 1. So we go from a negative infinity, and we stop at a negative 1. Are those, sorry, I have a parenthesis here because this is an open circle. So when it's an open circle, I use a parenthesis. Now, are those my only x values? You say no, right? Because I'm going to pick up my pencil and start again right here, and poof, go to the right. So if I have to pick up my pencil to keep on going, I'm going to have a union. And then I start once again from left to right. I start here which is a positive one. My x value is a positive one. It's an open circle, so it's going to be a parenthesis. And then how far to the right does this red line go? It goes all the way to positive infinity. So it goes from 1 to positive infinity. Close with a parenthesis. Infinity always has parentheses. OK, now let's talk about 
interval notation for our range. So from bottom to top, where do my y values start? My y values don't start at negative infinity this time. No y values, 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 bam. There we have ourselves a y value. What y value is that? Well, this point right here is at right 1 up 2. So the y value is 2. So it starts at 2. And it is an open circle, so it's going to be a parenthesis. And then how high does this line go? It goes up and 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 up forever and ever and ever. And it does not stop, so it goes all the way to positive infinity. You might be asking me, Mr. Berge, what about this one right here? Do we have to have a union? The answer is no, because this y value is a y value of 3. Here it is right here. And so when we say that it goes from 2 to positive infinity, doesn't that also include the number 3? Right? 2 to positive infinity certainly includes the number 3. So we already took care of this line using this statement. Okay? So it goes from 2 to positive infinity. Let's talk about our set notation then. So if our set notation is going to be x such that x, so it's everything that's less than, a negative 1. Here's negative 1, and it's everything less than it. So x such that x is less than a negative 1. It's not less than or equal to. It's just less than. We have more x values, though. So we say, or x is greater than a positive 1. It starts right here at 1, and it goes to the right. And then our range, it starts at 2. And then it goes to positive infinity. So we say it's everything greater than y such that y, if it's above 2, it's greater than a positive 2. So hopefully two was, hopefully 3 was easier than 2, and now hopefully 4 is going to be easier than 3. Let's talk about it. Going from left to right for interval notation, it starts at negative infinity because this red line goes left forever and ever and ever and ever. So negative infinity up to right there. So it starts at negative infinity. And how far to the right does it go? It stops at a negative 2 right here. But just like the other one, it jumps down here. So when it jumps, it goes from a negative infinity to 2. And then like 2.1 doesn't exist in this top one, but it jumps down to this bottom one. And now it goes all the way to positive infinity. So negative infinity, it stops at negative 2, but it doesn't because it continues on when it jumps to this bottom one. And then how far to the right does it go? It goes all the way to positive infinity. So negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. It just keeps on going. So my range then is going to be starting where, how low does this line go? Remember, range talks about up and down. How low does that line go? It goes down forever and ever and ever. So, how high does it go? Well, it goes up until zero right here. However, when we have zero stopping right here, it picks up right here. And it continues to go on forever and ever and ever. So this part right here is kind of a middle area where there's two different ranges, okay? But where you're just paying attention to, it goes from negative infinity, and where does it stop? It goes all the way to positive infinity. So it goes from negative infinity up to positive infinity. Close parentheses. So with both of these, it's quite simple. Whenever you have negative infinity to positive infinity, it is x such that x belongs all the real numbers, y such that y belongs all the real numbers. All right, last one, problem number five. Where did it go? There we are. Why don't you guys try number five on your own and then check your work with mine. So pause the video. After you've tried it, here's what you should get. This red line goes left forever. So if it goes left forever, that means it starts at negative infinity. Negative infinity, and how far to the right does it go? It goes up till zero. Now it doesn't include zero, down here, does it? It doesn't include 0. So now it jumps up here, but it doesn't include 0 either right here. If that was a closed circle, it would be all the real numbers. But being that that's an open circle, we go from a negative infinity to 0, 
and then we pick up here at zero and we go to positive infinity. So that must tell us that it doesn't include zero. There's no such x value where x equals zero. It goes from negative infinity up into zero, jumps and goes from zero to positive infinity, but it never includes zero. So that's where we do have to lift up our pencil and we're all, we are going to have a union. So negative infinity to zero, it doesn't include it, so put a parenthesis there. Union, it goes from zero to positive infinity. A little bit of a tricky one, it doesn't include zero. So now for our range, our range starts at, well, it looks like it maybe starts right at a negative 2. However, we got to think to ourselves, this line goes down forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So it actually starts at negative infinity. If I were to continue this line, it starts at negative infinity. And then how high does it go? all the way to positive infinity. Once again, this middle area is kind of where it overlaps. But our range starts at negative infinity, and it goes all the way to positive infinity. So negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. So when that happens, it means it's all real numbers. So our range is y such that y belongs all the real numbers. Our domain, though, our domain is x such that x, it's everything left of 0 right here, less than or equal to it. Sorry, sorry, not less than or equal to it. It's an open circle, so it's just less than. So x such that x is less than 0, or x is greater than 0, because it's going to be from this point onward, so to the right of 0. So x such that x is less than 0, or x is greater than 0. All right, your head might be spinning right now because this is brand new stuff, but I promise you, class, the more you do it with anything in life, the more you practice something, the better you get at it. And we're going to be doing this with every single unit we do. So by the end, you're going to be experts. Hopefully, you're experts by the end of this chapter. If not, don't lose um, confidence in yourself. You're going to get better at it. And we're be sure to ask me questions whenever you have them because I want to help you all through this process as well. So... We'll come to class tomorrow. We'll maybe do a couple more example problems in class to make sure we all have it um, ready to go. And then be sure to ask me questions individually if you have them.